Welcome to the Sea Psychiatry video. My name is Joseph. I'm a psychiatrist working in Australia. In this video, we are going to touch on antidepressant treatment after a heart attack. Depression is one of the most debilitating health conditions and a leading cause of disability in the world. Having depression after your heart attack increases your risk of death in the following years. In this video, we are going to talk about the science and some of the things psychiatrists consider when choosing antidepressants for people who have had a heart attack. There are timestamps here if you would like to skip ahead. There are different types of antidepressants. Tricyclic antidepressants, NDEP or amitriptyline, probably being the most commonly prescribed. They are an older class of antidepressants. Tricyclic antidepressants have fallen out of favor. They are linked with negatively affecting the heart rhythm, how your heart muscle contracts, and have even been linked to worsening of ischemic heart disease and sudden cardiac death. A newer class of antidepressants are the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or SSRIs. Fluoxetine, sertraline and escitalopram belong to the SSRI family. There have been many studies looking at the impact of SSRIs on heart disease. The general overall findings are that SSRIs were not linked with increased risk of heart or cardiac disease. However, the SSRIs do their job when it comes to reducing depressive symptoms for people with heart disease. One important consideration is how your SSRI interacts with your heart medication. SSRIs and blood thinners like aspirin, clopidogrel need special consideration. Speak with your psychiatrist or cardiologist if you are on an SSRI and a blood thinner. Also, SSRIs and other antidepressants can impact how long it takes for your heart muscles electrical system to recharge and then contract. Certain antidepressants, certain SSRIs, are associated with what is called a prolonged QT interval. Your QT interval is a measure of your heart muscle's electrical system. Sometimes having a heart attack can prolong your QT interval and then your medication, your SSRI, which you take for your depression, can further prolong your QT interval. A prolonged QT interval can be associated with an irregular heartbeat. Your doctor might do an ECG, which is when they stick those dots on your chest, and get your heart tracing to check if you have a prolonged QT interval before starting an SSRI. They may also do an ECG after starting your new SSRI to check if the new tablet has affected your QT interval. Another point to note is that antidepressants, in particular venafaxine, also known by its brand name Effexor, can increase blood pressure. So there you have it, some thoughts on antidepressant medication following a heart attack. We put out content almost weekly. Hope you have found this video helpful.